Hey, what's up? My name's Kevin Lamb, and you're watching Street Talk. And today we're in we're in the Lower East Side, aren't we? Yeah, we're in the Lower East Side in a in a sneaker shop, and we're here with my boy Phil and Nan. What's going on, man? Yo, I'm good. I'm good. How's everything? So, um, for those people that don't know, tell us about yourself. Who are you, and what do you do? Okay. Um, my name is Phil Tucson Annan. Um, I design a line called the Award Tour. I also do a little bit of blogging for Hype Beast, and we also have a. Uh, game-changing project in the work called uh, the Madbury Club. That's the next step. And then uh, I'm a student. So can you, can you tell us a bit more about your brand? How did that start off? How did you get into designing and whatnot? Um, a World Tour initially started all the way back in high school. Um, I used to do custom T-shirts with people, hand-painted, whatever I had to do to uh, basically make money. I had all these like side hustles. I was selling mixtapes out of my locker. And I started painting shirts. And um, one day I'm like, well, I'm going to screen print a shirt and see what can happen. So we screen printed up like 100 shirts. And um, I brought them into school in a box, walked into the cafeteria. And I'm like, yo, who wants some shirts? And I sold out 100 shirts in two days and like tripled my profits. So I'm like, all right, like this is like, you know, a viable business. You know, I'm going to, you know, push it and see what we can, uh, you know, make come out of it. And uh, Award Tour really just grew out of that. I don't know, your, your, your fan base seem to, they have a personal connection with you. How do you, how do you cultivate that? Mm -hmm. uh, I guess... The biggest thing with the brand, especially with the way streetwear is now, there's so many brands and so many people trying to do this. If you don't, you know, cultivate a following, if you don't give your person something to connect to, then you're not really offering anything else new. So we always say, you know, everyone can make a cotton six ounce T-shirt, but what can you put behind that six ounces of cotton that's going to separate you from someone else? And really what separated us is, is the lifestyle aspect of the blog. You know what I mean? People have come to identify with the blog. I have a project about to be started called the Madbury Club, which is um, an online publication, which is really going to hopefully redefine the way people look at content online as far as blogs go, because I've been blogging for a long time, and it just got to the point where I wanted to move past um, the same blog style that everyone was doing. You know what I mean? And so the Madbury Club is really going to be a progression of the Good Times blog. And it's going to be a progression in an enormous way. Like, it's um, it's a complete facelift. It's not even a blog anymore. It's really expanded to a complete online publication. Um, you're, not, you're not actually a native New Yorker, no. but you're always here a lot. Dirty so I, my, my final question I've got to ask, how does, you know, the hustle and bustle of the city, how does it influence you? Okay, yeah. No, I was definitely speaking about this the other day to someone, just talking about how... You know, I come from the suburbs. People always say, you know, he's from New York. I'm not from New York. Let me just say that now on the video. I'm not from New York. I'm from New Jersey, and I'm proud of New Jersey. You know what I mean? And, you know, I grew up in the suburbs, and like I always say, it's it's different. In the suburbs, everyone is spoon-fed. Everyone has is born with that silver spoon in their mouth. They don't have to work for anything. You know, you could never have a job in the suburbs and just live with your parents for your whole life. You have to get out of the suburbs and come to the city where people have to work for things because that's where you're going to get inspired when you're surrounded by people who have to work for everything. And that's why I'm here all the time because that's when you surround yourself with people who are going to inspire you and push you to work at the same time. So I'm Kevin Lamry, Phil and Nan. Thank you very much for watching Street Talk. <laughs>